post-depreciation run analysis in asset accounting, SAP, FICO. Now let us move to the general ledgers to see the effects of depreciation run. So we type F B L 3 N. Enter. Now choose the COCD which is UPSA. Then you write here the chart of accounts which is UCOA. First, uh, let us choose plant and machinery. All items execute. Now, here you can see that there has been external purchase from vendor 1 lakh. Then another purchase of 1 lakh 50,000 has been made on the same day. On the 18th, there has been transfer from assembling machine from the account assembling machine to dismantling machine transfer to dismantling machine then on 19th there has been asset retirement with customer of 1 lakh and on 20th there has been sale of asset without customer of 20,000 and on the same day there has been asset retirement by scrapping 5,000. So the total balance which remains is 1,25,000 under plant and machinery. UCOA accumulated depreciation for plant and machinery. Now you can see there has been depreciation charged of 1250, then 250 then 62.50 and these are all in context to asset retirement with customer, sale of asset without customer and then asset retirement by scrapping. Now these are all removed from the accumulated depreciation account which is 3125 and the balance remaining is 1562.50. Now you can also go through this calculation where you will find the asset which we just saw is the closing balance of 1,25,000 then there has been a depreciation uh, charge to accumulated depreciation account which is 3125 from where 1562.5 has been removed that is 1250, 250 and 62.5 and the remaining is 1562.50. If you move back and go to the depreciation account, depreciation on 
plant and machinery. You will find that this 3125 has been charged. This 3125 and this 1562 is included in it, which has been removed from accumulated depreciation because of disposal and transferring of the assets. If you double click on this and go to the display document, this is the entry view and if you go to the GL view, you will see the GL view as well. Now there is no difference between the two as you can see. So depreciation on plant and machinery account debit to accumulate a depreciation for plant and machinery 3125 that has been the entry and it is the result of depreciation run now if you go back go to the asset account once again that is plant and machinery execute and here you can double click and this is your plant and machinery assembling machine this is the GL view and this is the entry view you can see the document header as well now go back and you can also type AS03 select the asset assembling machine and go to asset values in asset values in planned values you can find ordinary depreciation 11250 this is your 11250 in assembling machine and you can also find here 250, 62.5, 250.62.5, 252.5, which makes 312.5, total 312.5, which has been deducted from this and the closing is 10937.5 in the depreciation account. Now go to posted values. In posted values you will find posted 1875. Here the ordinary depreciation shows 1875 and the acquisition value reflected is 125,000 125,000 right and depreciation on 150,000 at the rate of 15% for one month it is 1875 so this has been charged for the month of September on one lakh fifty thousand, right? 
1,850,000 into 15% divided by 12. And from there, we have removed 312.5, that is depreciation on 25,000. And the result is 1,562.50. Double click on this, we'll find 1875, 11,250 was the planned amount, and this is the amount to be posted. Go back, go to call asset support. Asset history sheet. Now you can find here what I was telling you. One one two five zero minus three one two point fifty, and the amount is current EPC accumulated depreciation. That is one lakh twenty five thousand right minus 10,937.50 one lakh 25,000 minus 10,937.50 and the net block comes to closing 114062.50 so you can see this here go back Go to asset balances, the same balance will be reflected. Go back again, assets acquisition, one lakh fifty thousand, one lakh, right? Assembling machine, external asset purchase from vendor. And one lakh fifty thousand is remaining in the assembling machine, whereas transfer to dismantling machine was one lakh. Go back. Assets retirement. Now in assets retirement, you will find assembling machine. Of 25,000. Depreciation charged was 312.50 and the book value was 24,687.50. The amount received was 12,000 and this is the amount of loss, the balance. Then sale of asset without customer, 20,000 and depreciation was charged 250. So the book value 19,750. We received 12,000. So 7,750 was the loss. Then again, asset retirement by scrapping 5062.5. So 4937.50 is the book value, and the same amount is shown here as a loss. These two basically is the breakup of 25,000. Depreciation. This is the amount of depreciation, right? As you can see it here also.
asset transactions transfer to this banking machine sale of asset without customer okay. let us go to comparisons you can see here the same results you can choose the other asset here dismantling machine okay this is the other asset the dismantling machine right so there is no acquisition value because uh, acquisition value is not being shown here because you have acquired in on the 13th and disposed it off on the 19th so there has been a loss of 38,750 as you can see here you have got 60,000 right of a machine which had a value of 1 lakh full value and after charging depreciation of 1250 it was 98750 so there was a loss of 38750 Go to the asset history sheet, you can find the dismantling machine. The value has become 0, 1250, which is also reflected here, 1250, and the value is nil at present. Go back, now you select asset balances, no data is there. This is the asset history sheet. This is the asset acquisition rate that is it was transferred from assembling machine to dismantling machine. Asset transactions, you can find the transactions here. This is the amount of depreciation charged. Depreciation 1250, right? This is reflected here. Fine. So, this is the way you can analyze post depreciation run in asset accounting. Thank you.